Hello and welcome back to my hardware review of this brand new switch from QNAP. This is the QSW M21082C. This is their 2.5 GBE and 10 GBE managed combo switch. That is a lot of description there that I think we have to break down just the tiniest bit before we go any further. This is not the first switch from the guys at QNAP. They've actually, this is probably the third generation, I would say, of their range of switches they went through unmanaged they started going into managed and now we're seeing a lot of middle ground switches from them like this one that allow users to find a middle point between buying very basic 1 gbe but affordable switches or going the whole hog towards 10 gbe in the rest of their environment this allows people to take advantage of 10 gbe on a smaller scale while still allowing users to take advantage of the benefits of 10 gigabit ethernet internally and not be restricted to 1 gbe with so many adapters starting to arrive with 2.5 and 5 gbe two usb3 upgrades and tiny little bus powered adapters for mac and windows as well as the improved performance of things like wi-fi 6 this finds a very neat home in that portfolio of solutions and at about 250 260 nicker is actually not that expensive now i know a number of you've just heard me say that this 8 plus 2 port switch at 250 to 260 quid without that is not very expensive but i genuinely mean that if you are looking at this compared to a 10g um, switch or you're looking at it compared to a 1g switch i can understand the disparity but let me go into a little bit more detail this device here is a layer two protected switch. It has everything from um, link aggregation support and port trunking. It has virtual LAN uh, capabilities where you can create user subgroups of network connections all within the device that can be managed from the user interface of QSS, QNAP switch software. There is support of quality of service control that allows you to assign priority to certain devices and make sure that the most important devices in your network environment from security cameras to main server backups or individual clients are all always going to be chief among the pile of devices that get all the bandwidth on top of that you've got loop protection on top of that you have got failover support on top of that you've got igmp um, snoop protection you have a whole host of features and facilities built into this to make sure that your managed network is as good as it can be and with remote access built into it and great bridging there of the combo com uh, ports it has to be said that this is quite an impressive switch for its price however is it perfect no there are things about it i like and of course there are things about it i do not like so let's talk about the things i like first well first and foremost i've always been a fan of this psu we've seen this before this is the rotatable psu so if we bring it there to camera we can see that it's very easy to rotate and it means that uh, remote deployment is incredibly easy. You can put it in some real compact places. We've utilized the 308C unmanaged switch for a, switch for a while that utilizes that same PSU there. And it is an incredibly tight fitted corner just out of shot there in the background. On top of that, this device, although it has a fan inside, is remarkably quiet, which is exactly what you want from a switch, particularly a 10G switch, which at 10G you start to see busy busy fans working with a number of these switches and with a lot of people editing now on 10 gbe the noise of 10 g switches is starting to become a concern for many many people another thing i like about this device is of course the fact that it is 2.5 gbe that means each one of these eight copper ports here is 2.5 gbe each. so instead of 100 megabytes per second potential throughput we're talking 250 per port and thanks to link aggregation that means a potential 20 gbe supported throughput here with the right configuration and supported devices but this is the other bit that i think steals the show these combo ports this is not the first time qnap have embraced this and this these sets these two combo ports here that let you choose between copper and fiber and allow you to have 10 gbe on each of them or lag them together is something i think these guys over here can certainly see the benefit of so case in point say you have um, a, a, a kind of business um, arrangement where you have S, uh, fiber cabling coming in presenting that 10g connectivity there you can feed in 10g on this combo via S, uh, fiber with the transceiver and from this side you can go straight into copper and feed it into perhaps a 10g now for backups at the same time this network here is able to take advantage of both of these devices quite quite well 
Alternatively, you could connect two 10GB NASes to this device, one acting as a backup or perhaps two different databases. If you have those two 10GB NASes here, so 10 or 1000 meg and 1000 meg, depending on the media inside, all of these guys are gonna be able to max out 250 meg each on their client devices if you're using two 10G NASes that can saturate 1000 megs each. And again, 250 to 260 nicker, that's impressive. Um, there is a config port there that can also be used for putting in your internet connectivity. I've not really tested that before. We've already done software overviews of uh, QSS before. I'm hoping we're gonna do a revisit to it very, very soon where we look at the latest updates in that software. But with loads of ventilation all the way around the device and the noise of the internal fan being very, very low, this is an impressive switch. But as I say, it's not perfect. There are things about it I am less keen on. One of the things I'm less keen on for a start is the fact that it only has two years of manufacturer's warranty. Given that the majority of switches from their main competitors, Netgear, Thompson, uh, Fritz in, in Germany, of course, the people that are looking at those switches, a lot of their solutions arrive with either lifetime warranties or five year warranties. With this arriving with just two years, and that is a bit of a bitter pill to swallow for some businesses. On top of that, the design is not for everyone. I quite like the design, although it is a little plasticky in its outset, but I know a number of people are gonna be less keen on this white switch. It is incredibly compact, very, very small and easy to hide away, but I know the design is not for everyone. And though it doesn't, it doesn't seem hugely enterprise for some, I know it's not gonna win everyone over in that design there. And again, those 2.5 GBE connections, as useful as they are, you're gonna to have to make sure that your devices have got 2.5 GBE each. So you're gonna to have to use client adapters or upgraded network interface cards on those devices. But apart from those very, very small critiques, has to be said that I am a fan of this. I've always been a fan of QNAP's network switches, largely because they've brought the same logic and innovation they've done from their NASes into this kind of hardware. And if you are looking for a nice middle ground between um, upgrading from one GBE to something a little bit affordable, but still a lot of potential to go with, and the idea of going full 10 GBE full scale is a little too intimidating or outside of the scope of your business, this serves as a great little middle ground, and I hope you guys agree. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Click like if you have and subscribe to learn more. There's a link in the description to NAS Compares where we've hardware reviewed this device. And of course, visit the guys at span.com to help uh, with their help to choose the right data storage solution for you in 2021. I will see you next time.